Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. We got our food ready because yep. we're always hungry when we do Indian food. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Anji and I are always hungry. So Jaden grabbed a sandwich and Anji grabbed a bagel. Yeah. Not Indian street food, not Wish anything it was. good <laughs> Indian cooking food, but some snacks for us while we watch this delicious food. Yep, it yep. is called Rare Indian Dessert Foods Cooking Underground Rajasthani style. style. So we have seen Rajasthan, right? Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful and one of those really places pretty. on our wonderful list to go see, which I think mm -hmm. our list now is too big for us. We have to come for a long time to visit all those mm -hmm. lovely places. Like at least a year. <laughs> but Anji and I enjoy the food. And you guys always ask, where's Jaden? And Jaden doesn't, we don't tend to think he would like this. So we're going to try one with Jaden because he eats cheese and bread. Butter, bread. Bread. He won't eat your bodies. He doesn't eat rice. I heard Shut that. What kind of Indian boy doesn't eat rice? Rice is good. I mean, you can't have Noah anything without rice. rice. Yeah. No, Noah loves, Noah steals food from daddy, so Noah likes it spicy. Jaden, Jaden's like mama. I was a picky eater as a kid and plain Jane, but I've, I do not I, I like, have come out of my shell and I love me some Indian food. I do not so. like plain, that's why I'm not good when yeah, I'm it, sick. Yeah. Anji was not feeling well last couple of days, and she mm -hmm. hates that she has to eat just plain bread, just hate plain it. toast, just a banana, just very plain be until her I tummy don't like feels plain. better. Yeah, she keeps trying to sneak other stuff, and I'm like, stop <laughs> it! Till your tummy gets better, you can't eat whatever you want. But, but I want she, to. yeah, this is stuff for her favorite. We took Hannah to the Indian shop. We still have yeah. to put that video together. Yeah, it was yummy. Yeah, Some yummy yeah. goodness that we tried there. And um, yeah, Anji likes to try the good stuff. So <laughs> before we chat too much about the lovely food that we love to eat, let's watch some underground Rajasthani food. Yeah. Ready, Jaden? That looks like pancakes. It looks kind of like pancakes. Let's see if it's pancakes. Ready? This is the moment of truth. Is it good? I really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I need an ending to this video. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. My first foodie mission into India brought me to two of its most massive cities, mm -hmm. Delhi and Mumbai. This city is home to some of the most gigantic awesome. Indian Big food gigantic. I have ever seen. Now I'm back with a special mm -hmm. focus on northwestern India, starting our journey in the semi-arid deserts of Rajasthan. Every home has, has, has their own recipes, but this kind of food, not too many people know about. I'm here for food. I'm talking <laughs> old-style desert cooking mm. in the ground. Wow. Now they're going to cover it on top? Wow. Ajit and Uday are leading the way. They're the driving force behind Overlander India, with the mission of demystifying Rajasthan's many gems, including certain complex foods. You know how to eat rotis, right? Um... Yes, <laughs> we'll be literally dozens of miles from rookies? civilization, and yeah. things are gonna get spicy. Wow, that, that is so, so much spice. spice. But don't worry, spicy. I'm leaving some room for dessert. The ceremony is known as the Amal Sabha, which literally translated into English means opium ceremony. So grab your <laughs> gear, because we're doing desert cooking Rajasthani style. Before any feasting can begin, Ajit has invited me to be part of a welcoming ceremony with some locals. Welcome to the village, sir. That's a welcome tikka for you. Oh. A welcome tikka. What is the this significance is, of this? Is, whenever you are being welcomed into somebody's home, you're welcomed like this. Wow. People, sometimes you would garland somebody, but that's if it was a bigger occasion. Like if you were coming to attend a wedding or something. Yeah. This isn't that garland. big of an occasion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can go. Ahead. All right. Thank you very much. We're inside a mutt with the village head, who's about to offer his version of a welcome drink. This gentleman is Mr. Padam Bharti. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having us. We are here actually to witness a very old ceremony. The ceremony is known as the Amal Sabha, which literally translated into English means opium ceremony. In the West, you would open a bottle of champagne. Over here, you share a little bit of opium. This type of ceremony yeah. traditionally uses real opium. But since opium is now illegal in India, we'll just use molasses and uh, pretend it's opium. All right. <laughs> 
Hello, gentlemen. What do we have here? It's for the opium ceremony. What is being poured in there? Basically, one part opium, three parts molasses, then mixed with water, and then it's going to be filtered. So now he's going to offer it to the gods. Since I'm not wearing a turban, with my left hand, I would cover my head with my hand. With my right hand, the ring finger, I would offer some to the gods as well. Mm. And then I would consume it directly from his hand. I'll watch how you do it here. Okay, ring finger. Some to the gods. Yes. Should I do it in the same way? Yes, absolutely. All right. So he pours it onto his hand, covering my head with my left hand. And then slurp yeah, it. Slurp it. Slurp yes. it. <laughs> the flavor is like a little bit of aspirin that's been diluted in water. It's, it's a bit bitter. It feels like one puff of a cigarette. Are we done here then? Yeah, we are pretty much done. How do I say thank you? Where to say thank you? Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now that I'm all buzzed up on molasses, <laughs> we're driving to the middle of the desert to the Overlander campground. Today we're sampling some old traditional Rajasthani recipes. Recipes that came about through absolute necessity, but delivered completely on flavor. Ajit, we have had our molasses. Yes. But what else is on the menu for today? So what we are going to do today is cook lamb in a very different way. We are going to cook what's known as cut lamb. The cooking is going to be done underground. It's going to be... Are these camels? Yes, these are camels. Whoa, these, these are look just like the trees. This is cattle grazing land, so you'll see cattle, you'll see camels. Wow. So back to the cut. During war, the soldiers would use this method of cooking underground. Mm. They left no trace of it whatsoever. Right. We'll be making another lamb, which is known as jungling lamb. It's made with five ingredients. In the West, it's like five, that seems normal. In India, that's like, there's nothing in our dish, we're only using five ingredients. The idea behind this recipe is that so if you got stranded somewhere, anywhere you were, you would have these five ingredients available. All right, well, here we are. I guess uh, your team is gonna get to digging. Um, yes, uh, welcome to the Overlander team. <laughs> oh. Um, might take a while. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most important kitchen utensil we're using today. The but, kitchen um, utensil. I think I need some guidance. Uday, hey man. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> this is yours. <laughs> so listen, we're like, making aw. a hole. It's two foot by two foot and yeah. then two feet deep. Yes. We're gonna fill the bottom with coal and put uh, the leg of lamb and cover the hole with mud again. And we'll wait for about two hours. Oh, it takes two hours. And then you All right, this is kind of a slow cooker, huh? It oh might boy. take two hours for him to dig the hole. <laughs> um, from here, the hole will be dug off camera. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Once the hole is dug, Bude walks me through how to perfectly spice our lamb. Right here, we have the leg of lamb. We're ready to prepare. Walk me through this. These are the spices that everybody knows. Cinnamon, cardamom, black pepper, cloves, coriander, turmeric, onion powder. Onion powder. This is roasted onion. Yes. It looks like ground coffee. All these spices combined create the garam masala, which is right here. Wow. Fragrant, aromatic, and very fresh. Take a pinch. Yeah. Taste it. Hmm. I don't know it's if I would do that. It's an explosion in your mouth, isn't it? Yeah, a little hot too. If you taste the marinade, it's very, very sharp, but the end result is very mild. After scoring the lamb, this baby is going to get an avalanche of seasoning. And it starts simply with some garlic and a basic marinade. What are you making? <laughs> I'm going to make another base of spices, which is going to be mixed in ghee, and we'll pour it on top. Mm. So we start with red chilies. Coriander powder. Yeah. A little bit of turmeric, salt, ghee. Oh, I'm going to mix it. Okay, yeah, that looks potent. <laughs> <laughs> Try it out. looks I mean, really a spicy. I mean, ghee in here, mm -hmm. which is a, a kitchen term. Which is a kitchen term. <laughs> oh, it's mild, isn't it? It's not sharp at all. Pretty intense to me. It's intense, but it's not hot, hot. All right, we've got banana leaves, yeah. tinfoil leaves, and then perhaps <laughs> the most interesting part of this to me, I'm actually surrounding the whole leg with, with all these rotis. With the rotis. See, rotis also act as a buffer. It will not let your meat get burnt. Now oh, you're going to put on that lovely sauce. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> wow. That is yeah, would not have so much spice. There's as much exactly. seasoning as there is meat on here. Is it impossible to overseason this? You can overseason it. It's always good to overdo it than underdo it. Once it's soaked in masala, the lamb is encased with even more rotis, banana leaves, and tinfoil leaves. This bundle is slid inside a damp burlap sack, protecting the lamb from burning. Finally, our lamb cooking apparatus requires a handle for easier retrieval. You'll see what I mean soon. So what's happening here? I'm just gonna moist this a little bit. The hole is now moist. <laughs> okay, so we've got the hot embers coming in, and then in with the meat wrapped in this soaked gunny sack. He's got kind of a wire handle on here. 
the embers are heating up that wet sack, and now they're gonna cover it on top, right? Yeah. Wow. The lamb bundle is topped off with even more embers and finally sand to lock in the heat. With no thermometer, the only issue remaining is having no idea if it's actually finished cooking. While we wait, Ajit introduces today's second main course. What's our second course today? It's called jungly meat. Jungly means wild. Uh -huh. wild. Very easy to cook. Five key ingredients. Ghee, which is clarified butter. Red chilies, whole and in powdered form. Coriander seeds, garlic, crushed as well as whole. And salt. And of course, then we have lamb. We're going to start off by putting oh. ghee. Once ghee has heated up a little bit, we're just going to put everything else in together. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Instantly frying up. We got the whole chilies in there. Chili powder. And what are you putting in now? These are and the seeds. A bunch of salt. Putting the garlic. Wow. Salt the five ingredients, and now we're going to be leaving it to you here to cook. And that's it. Yeah. I love it. Five less chilies. About 45 minutes later, our jungly moss is ready. Served on a fresh, warm chapati or Indian that's flatbread. Cool. Spritz it with some lime and prepare to have your breath good. taken away. I mean, All right, good. so like, I'm going to scoop up a nice piece of meat, <laughs> super me. hot, and just soak up some of those the amazing spices. spices. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> I would need a lot of um, oh, milk. Oh, that is to die for. So simple, <laughs> but so delicious. Really just spicy. rich, incredible mm -hmm. heat. But it, it feels really good. complete for just being a handful of ingredients exactly. in there. Exactly. This is going to be joining our meal with the cod lamb. We're going to wait just a little bit for that Absolutely. and then dig it up. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> About two hours has now passed. The lamb cud is finished, or just maybe finished. Uday seems to think the lamb is at least probably finished. <laughs> how long has it been cooking now? Maybe About two hours. How do you know if it's done? I don't know. We're just gonna have to dig it up and yeah. see how it looks, huh? Yeah. All right, so we're removing wow, crazy, all these hot embers. Yeah. You're gonna use the pick to this. get around this loop of a handle here. I mean, it's pretty amazing and, wow. that the soldiers what happened? had to. Is everything okay? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> This is the way they All cook. right, perfect. Well, no wonder we need the wire on there. That would suck to get out otherwise. We can see the bottom here. It's not even burnt all the way through the gunny sack, but hopefully it's cooked all the way through. <laughs> Uday removes the wire, burlap sack, and leaves, leaving us now with just the moment of truth. Do I have an ending for this video? The winds are <laughs> roaring. The gods are praising us for our great effort. This is it's the moment of truth. Though. Is it good? I really hope so. <laughs> I need an ending to this video. All right. So he's cutting off some of this meat. I'm seeing little bits of it. Yeah, oh my. Thank you. Who's the god of food? Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have some with you. I'll have the whole leg. Yeah, <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's all right. Oh, it's stunning. That is so delicious. It's nice. It's very tender. Just a ton of spices working together. Yeah, but it, there's nothing sharp in it. You're right. You it's know? not overpowering yeah. at all. So you can see here, the roti is just caked in spices. The outside is still kind of dry and almost like it has a little crispy edge to it. The inside's a little soggy, soaking up all the spices. I want you to enjoy it with me. I mean, I did dig the hole, but you did everything else. And also I didn't dig the hole. Cheers, right. cheers. No. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> I wish there was something else that I wanted. Smart. Hold on. Look at him, Kai, over to the side. He's like, are you done? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm We're doing a thorough guys. food review over here. Okay. I, I think one more shot. One more take. Was that last one in focus? No, no, no. No, yeah, I don't think no, it was. No, it wasn't. You ready? One more bite. I don't think anybody behind camera is, is gonna get I'm a in bite love. of that. <laughs> no. Feeling a little full, I mean bad for the others, we set out an entire spread. Two legendary Rajasthani dishes. It's Perhaps some love. of the most delicious food I've tried, <laughs> not only in India, but anywhere. What should people know about Rajasthani food? Rajasthani food is so diverse. Every home has their own recipe. Mm. But this kind of food, not too many people know about. How would you rate this simple food? It's some of the best food I've ever had. But to it me, it's not simple, simple at, all. at all. It's no. taking a handful of ingredients and really elevating the food the most, yeah. absorbing and, all and, the spices. And amazing, it's not on any flavor. Oh. And yet it's it's just melting in the mouth and the meat is just falling off the bone. Mm. Oh. Mouth pleasure. At least half the happiness in my life comes from mouth pleasure. Yeah, True. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for this experience. I mean, desert cooking. Yeah. 
this is how you do it. I didn't know what to expect, but you've outdone yourself. I did not know myself if it's going to be cooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huge thank you to Overlander for this custom tour, but they do amazing tours here in Rajasthan. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. For you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated. <laughs> So, was not, not expecting this at no. all. No! Yeah, I was <laughs> expecting food that I would like. Anymore. Well, yeah, Jaden was, I was expecting a few different foods, not just two different dishes. I was expecting more yeah. things. Me too! But I was also not expecting literally under the ground. Oh, I was thinking I'm... like... I don't know, like street food you couldn't find anywhere unless you went to like a special place. I don't know. I was thinking like <laughs> some kind of like tunnel or like cave that was underground, so like, but not like literally like digging something up and covering it. Right. Like it's like you said, I like was a thinking train that station or something, something like that. But like that you would find amazing yeah. food in like a weird place. Yeah. That you wouldn't think you'd find like. Kind of like street food, I guess I was but expecting. I was, I was <laughs> expecting <laughs> like no, I, was I? Th I was expecting it. What to were you be, expecting? I was expecting it to be under like like nearby the lava and stuff where what? it's in a lava. cave. In a cave, maybe? Yeah. Underground, like that kind of underground. Yeah. yeah, I was I don't know. It's not what I expected at all. But um, it looked good. We don't yeah. eat lamb, but no. the way they put the spices and, and did it with the seasoning it's and then they good. cooked it around the chapatis, I mean the rotis, that I thought was pretty amazing. Yeah. That it yeah. kind of like absorbed it and then it wouldn't burn. Um, and you didn't know if it was cooked or not. The part of digging it up and <laughs> digging the hole and then digging it up Imagine and then it wasn't cooked. waiting have to two hours. Redo the <laughs> then you'd have to put it back in the hole and redo it and cover it back up and wait some more. You can tell with Jaden's reaction. <laughs> we'll have to do a different food that has a variety of stuff in it to look at. Yeah. Because well, well, I mean, it, I like it just have to be like yeah. bread. Yeah, Jaden Jaden likes bananas, mangoes, um... Yeah, bread. He doesn't eat chapatis. He doesn't eat rice. rice. He loves his doesn't butter and his curry, cheese. So do anything. Literally, little Krishna. If you haven't seen, we've done some little Krishna videos. He's like little Krishna, but he. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll eat a whole bu butter jar. <laughs> I don't know if you'd eat a whole butter jar. He eats a lot of cheese, definitely, right? And he loves his milk, so, yeah. But, yeah, this definitely was an interesting twist I was yeah. not yeah. expecting. But um, if we ate lamb, I guess would be delicious. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looked like it was cooked well. It fell off the bone. It was seasoned nicely. Mm -hmm. It was wrapped in chapatis. I like that little salad thing that was like... Yeah. Onions and tomatoes. It looked on the kind side of like too. a salsa kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But good. I guess I was expecting, a, you know, like a bunch of different things. The mm -hmm. the drink at the beginning too was quite interesting. That's something I'm <laughs> telling you doesn't eat anything. No. But we do. So this is like digging underground. They talked about because of um, in the army. That's how they kind of cooked, and mm -hmm. that way nobody knew they were cooking. There was no like smokestack that would let, set off. You know, yeah. oh, there, there's the Indian army. There they are. They're over there cooking. <laughs> so I get that. That's amazing. And I wouldn't have never even thought of that. Mm -hmm. In my family, now, I grew up in the big city in Los Angeles, but my family lives in a small little town in Connecticut. And every year, they do a pig roast. And it's a huge deal. Everybody from around the town, all the friends, all my cousins and their friends and their friends' friends and Everybody brings something to, to eat, too, but my cousin, they do the pig roast, and it literally is a big pig, nose, everything, still ears, like still on. This and they huge? have it in a big thing, and they rotate it. They do not put, like they said, five seasonings is like a, a small dish in India. You uh, usually put more seasoning on than that. This doesn't have all that, like salt, yeah. pepper, maybe, and maybe a couple little seasons, uh. but... It very plain. Like I feel like when we cook like meats plain. in here and we cook <laughs> stuff here, the American way is definitely more like bland. No. Not as many si spices or even seasoning. I feel like in some of the stuff. Oh, At least I that's how I seasoning. have taken it. 
Yes. I like stuff with seasoning if it's usually not with seasoning. I mean, I'll eat it, but it won't be my favorite. I guess maybe it's because it kind of reminds me of being sick, maybe. Right. You don't like the plain stuff. I don't. I yeah. know. Angie likes stuff. But it can be seasoned well and not be spicy, which yeah. we enjoy. Spicy and hotness. That's still making um, me hungry. Depends on how hot and how spicy. I can tolerate some, but not a ton. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, then I'd have to get, like, yogurt Even though I don't like right. yeah. this stuff, it's We know. Yogurt, yeah, milk. Yogurt, Somebody milk, told me rice. Mango Lassies is a U.S. thing, but they're delicious. Yeah. So, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Love me some mango. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Don't fall over. But, um, yeah, that's kind of what I would do. I would still eat it, even if it's, like, really spicy, because I want to eat it, like, you, you sometimes, like to try stuff. I yeah. do, because you sometimes make these curries that are, like, really spicy. Not intentionally. Not intentionally, <laughs> but, like, they have good flavors in them, and I really like them, so I'll just keep putting yogurt and rice and drinking milk, and I'll eat it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. We know some of the tricks to keep it to not make your mouth on fire. Jaden obviously won't eat any of that. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. And um, don't forget to subscribe. We'll do click some other food sp- videos with Jaden. Don't forget to click that notification bell below because <laughs> you like it. Mom, give you some other videos. And someday you'll understand that. Yep. Enjoying the wonderful growing Jan family. And we'll see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.